Good morning, Chasm listeners. Today is Saturday, October 7th, 2023, and this is your weekly conservation report. My name is Tessa Grieve, conservation planner at Stearns County Soil and Water, and today I wanted to tell you about some upcoming events and information related to Stearns County and the surrounding area. The first thing I wanted to mention is that it's still not too late to plant cover crops if you've been considering it. With the time we have left, cereal rye is the best option, as you can plant it until November 1st. The recommended rate for seeding cereal rye is 83 pounds of pure live seed per acre if not incorporating, or 55 pounds of pure live seed per acre if you are incorporating the seed, and planting to a depth of three-fourths to one and a half inches. If you have any questions about cover crops, feel free to call our office at 320-251-7800, extension 3, and any of our conservation planners can assist you. Another thing I wanted to mention is that emerald ash borer has been found in Mille Lacs and Benton counties, and an emergency quarantine on wood movement has been put in place for both of those counties. The Minnesota Department of Agriculture has confirmed the presence of emerald ash borer in Mille Lacs and Benton County for the first time. There are now 44 counties in the state with emerald ash borer. Tree care professionals in both counties noticed trees with signs of an emerald ash borer infestation and made reports to the MDA. The Mille Lacs County infestation was discovered in Malacca along a set of power lines, and the Benton County infestation was found in a neighborhood in St. Cloud. Emerald ash borer was first discovered in Minnesota in 2009. The insect larvae kill trees by tunneling under the bark and feeding on the part of the tree that moves nutrients up and down the trunk. The trees show several signs of an infestation. Woodpeckers like to feed on the emerald ash borer larva, and woodpecker holes may indicate the presence of emerald ash borer. Also, EAB tunneling can cause bark to split open, revealing characteristic S-shaped galleries underneath the bark. Because this is the first time that emerald ash borer has been identified in Mille Lacs and Benton County, the MDA is enacting an emergency quarantine which limits the movement of firewood and ash material out of the area. The quarantine for Mille Lacs County will be in the southern portion of the county, south of County Road 11, and from Benton County to the Isanti County border, and all of Benton County will be under emerald ash borer quarantine. I bring this up because both of these counties are very close to us, and it's highly likely that eventually Stearns County will have emerald ash borer sightings as well. You can learn more about emerald ash borer information on the MDA website at mda.state.mn.us slash eab. University of Minnesota Extension is also hosting a series of four webinars on farm transition and estate planning. The first one has already passed on October 4th and was on developing your farm transition goals and assembling your team. But the next three are still available and able to be registered online on the Extension's website by searching farm transition and estate planning webinar. The second one is on October 11th and is about all things tax, gifting, selling, and transferring. The third on October 25th, wills, trust, ownership, titling, what does it all mean? And the final of the four series is on November 8th, putting the basics together, estate, retirement, healthcare, and business transfer planning. The 2023 Soil Management Summit is being held on December 7th and December 8th, 2023 at the Arrowwood Resort in Alexandria, Minnesota. Early bird sign up for the two day event is $175, but after November 15th will be $225. And a single day early bird is $150, and after November 15th, $190. However, some scholarships may be available. The summit will feature presentations and QA with researchers, farmers, and agricultural advisors, information from sponsors, and conversations with farmers experienced in diff- different soil health practices. Hear from long-time no-till, reduced tillage, and cover crop farmers as they share their experiences so you can be spared the same hard-learned lessons. Overall, the Soil Management Summit emphasizes proven farmer experience and applied science. Learn how heavier, colder soils aren't necessarily the challenge they're made out to be. Those who attend the entire conference will be offered continuing education units for certified crop advisors. And the summit is presented by University of Minnesota Extension and the Minnesota Office for Soil Health, with support from Stearns County Soil and Water Conservation District. Breakout sessions will feature presentations on the following. Fertility considerations with various soil health practices, understanding and harnessing soil biology, utility of biological amendments, disease and weed consideration in a cover crop system, analyzing and applying manure and compost, economics of various soil health practices, as well as managing water in soil health cropping systems. You can register online at extension.umn.edu. The Farm Friends Barn in Becker is hosting an open house on October 19th from 1 to 6 p.m. located at 10782 27th Avenue Southeast in Becker. Farm Friends Barn is a organization that provides ag projects and education for kids mostly, but hosts other events related to agriculture often. I hope everyone has a great weekend, and this has been your weekly conservation report. Thanks!